Hi, and welcome to More Human, More Resources, the HR podcast for entrepreneurs. I'm Vicki Brown, your host and CEO of Vidomineo Enterprises. As a serial entrepreneur, I understand that having the right expert help has been critical to my success. That's why I'm dedicated to telling you, in plain language, what's going on in the world of HR that might impact your business and what you need to do about it. With real, actionable tips to help you master that list of must-dos and grow your leadership muscle. First things first, the information contained in this podcast is provided for general purposes only and is not to be considered legal advice. Your decision to adopt or not adopt any practice or procedure mentioned in this podcast is solely yours, and we bear no responsibility for the outcome. We urge you to always consult legal counsel and other appropriate licensed professionals. And with that, let's get into the show. You're listening to Season 1, Episode 41. In this week's episode, our question of the day is, can I require my employees to get vaccinated? Most of my clients, and even my company, Domineo, are facing questions about how, when, and under what circumstances can our teams return to the office, even if in some sort of hybrid model. Actually, the big question on most leaders' minds is, can I require my employees to get vaccinated? And what do I do if they don't? Or won't. Of course, dealing with the pandemic in the workplace brings up a host of thorny questions. In fact, you may have noticed that this podcast has largely steered clear of the subject. That's because the situation is so fluid and the guidance has been ever-changing to match. And to top it off, different rules apply depending on which state, county, and in some instances, city you live in. So, all that to say, it's almost impossible to put a hard and fast stake in the ground. But the question of vaccinations is persistent and the issue doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. So here goes. All right, the first question is, can I require my employees to return to the office? Well, the short answer is yes. The longer answer is yes, but if they really don't like it, there are ways they can make their displeasure known. Of course, they could complain or at the other end of the spectrum, they could simply leave. In fact, you may have seen article after article citing the survey that says 39% of workers would rather quit than return to the office full time. Now, I will say that that particular survey was conducted with 1000 adults in May by Morning Consult. And since then, they've continued to survey and the findings are a bit more nuanced. Actually, Morning Consult has a handy return to normal tracker, I'll put the link in the show notes, that shows the results of their latest surveys. And a recent check showed that 44% would like to either work full time in the office or in a one to two day per week remote hybrid model. And tellingly, more than half, in fact 58%, support their employer requiring that staff be vaccinated. So. It looks like you, mostly, have your team's support in requiring vaccinations. And that's also in line with what's happening in society at large. Entertainment venues, restaurants, concerts, theaters, the list of places requiring proof of vaccination is growing by the day. So you'll be in good company. But the difference is, what do you do if they can't or won't get vaccinated? Those other places can simply say, well, then you can't come in. But as an employer, you have some restrictions they don't. So you'll need a backup plan. By that I mean, you need to have a fully fleshed out idea of how you'll handle people who request a religious or medical exemption from your policy. You can't just say, well, you can't come in because you may open yourself up to discrimination charges. And besides, don't overlook the fact that we may be talking about an employee that's mission critical to your business. And yes, I know that companies from Goldman Sachs to Shake Shack have instituted vaccine policies, but again, in most cases, they aren't absolute. For instance, Goldman requires either proof of vaccination or the employee has to get a rapid COVID-19 test to be allowed on site, and they'll have to be tested regularly. Some other companies are requiring that employees get vaccinated or they have to work remotely and aren't allowed in the offices. 
You know, in this environment, that kind of sounds like a desired incentive for undesired behavior, but whatever. So while I can't tell you what to do, I will tell you what we're doing. Number one, I am requiring that every member of the team disclose their vaccination status. I didn't have to create a deadline because the policy came after everyone had already spoken openly about getting jabbed. We're a small team and truth be told, they were excited about getting the shot so they told one another in real time. Number two, as of this podcast, unvaccinated employees have the option of weekly testing or maintaining masking and social distancing protocols. Now, I say as of this podcast because, again, everything is fluid. And once the FDA gives full approval for the vaccine, I expect a lot of companies will revise their policies to be full on mandates versus simply company policies, meaning either get vaccinated or go the weekly testing route. And even if you do weekly testing, you still have to mask and social distance. In fact, in Los Angeles, where we are, all employees are required to wear masks indoors right now, no matter their vaccination status. But even when that changes, we'll still need unvaccinated colleagues to test and mask up. And number three, we're making all job candidates aware of our vaccination policy. Now, all this isn't happening in a vacuum. We installed antibacterial sleeves on door handles and keypads, we have pure HEPA air filters for each workstation, and we're still masking up indoors. My point is, stay on top of all the other ways you can support your team's health and create a protected environment. And yes, all those things are great ideas. But again, the biggest way I can find to protect my team by far is to require vaccines. So you have to make your own decision, and it's never a bad idea to have a chat with counsel. But for Edominale, vaccine requirements are what we're doing. If you found this information helpful, please leave a review and tell a friend. Thanks for spending the time. Until next week, same time, same place.